Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is 3 p.m. here in New Vienna, Iowa. That means it's time for another live stream. Today is Tuesday, December 15th, squarely in the middle of the month, 10 days left till Christmas. And it is a Tuesday, which means it's Trivia Tuesday. And today we're doing a couple of things special. Uh, we're going to play Name That Shoe, which is a game that uh, I've been wanting to play for a little while now. So hopefully this works out. Hopefully this is fun. And uh, the other thing is I'm going to have some prizes. Where are the prizes? Hold on. Here's the prize that I have today. Uh, this is, uh, I guess, a sponsored prize because it was sent to me um, along with um, some boxes and packing tape to make it easier for me to do a giveaway. So that was kind of nice. It's from Polar. Um, those of you who have been around for the live streams before will uh, see, think these are familiar. So they sent me three more of these hats. So if you want these uh, uh, Atlanta Marathon Trials hats, I got three. So we'll give three away at the end today. And I'll also give away one of these. It's a polar, don't get too excited, but it's a polar little bag. And it's got a, it's a little battery pack. And it says polar listens to your body. I don't know if you could see that through this like plastic wrap that's on here, polar listens to your body, little charging brick. So everyone can use one of those. And it's got a little cable inside. So I'll give you a, a hat if you want one and a uh, charging brick. And I'm gonna keep it to, uh, domestic U.S. shipping only, though. Sorry, guys. Just for post office reasons, it's a lot easier for me to ship that way uh, for now until things get better. So that's what's going to go on today. There's going to be no like um, points for getting questions right. We'll do a bonus question, and it'll be something that if you have no idea about shoes, you can guess the right answer. Um, so that's kind of the way the bonus question will go. So that's what's going to be different today. Let's see who's here. We've got people in the podcast version. I can't see that right now, of course, because you're going to listen to the podcast version after the fact, but hopefully all you guys listening on the audio only version or having a good run today. Everyone watching on YouTube after the fact, hopefully we can get you sometime into the live stream, but I understand there's time zone differences. Things might not work out work-wise, schedule-wise. So I appreciate you for listening nonetheless. And I appreciate everyone. Uh-oh, what happened? Oh, all right. Am I back? Am I back, guys? Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, Timothy Betts says, uh, guess the computer error was <laughs> intro bribe. No, it's it just uh, JC got it right. Laptop battery got me. Normally it's plugged in, but I, I moved it a little bit today and I think I dislodged the power cord or maybe yesterday, but sorry. Sorry about that. So um, let's say hi to everyone who's here. Let's start at the top. Uh, Adam Steve's getting in the spirit of name that shoe says light and snappy yet bouncy enough to keep a smile on your face. The Kofuzi pizza rat 14s will provide miles and miles of carefree enjoyment for the casual jogger or the Olympic hole fill. Love that. That would be a fantastic shoe. Um, pizza rats that, uh, that'd be a good shoe. I mean, I feel like, you know, it'd be like, um, like the bacon dunks, like the bacon SB dunks. Have you guys seen those? Like I think I make a pizza rat. Pegasus or something like that, or a pizza wrap beacon. I would love that. A bacon beacon. I mean, I don't really like bacon anymore, but I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. But pizza definitely would be it. Today, I was looking for two kinds of t-shirts, just like looking for t-shirts for no real reason. Um, I wanted like a, I just, I, I was looking on like Etsy for the most, and like Teespring for the most generic pizza shirt, like a, just a shirt with like a pizza emoji on it. No words, no explanation, just like a piece of pizza. And uh, it's kind of hard to find. People are always putting like their spin on it and like doing stuff to it. Like the cheese is extra drippy or something. So I couldn't find it. But, and the other thing I was looking for was a, a t-shirt for Shin Ramen because I love Shin Ramen. I might get a couple. <laughs> All right, KCA says, uh, hey everyone, looking forward to the snow in the Northeast tomorrow. I hear you guys are gonna get a ton depending on where you are. He's going to go to try get out on the uh, Peg Trail 2 GTXs. Ooh, I saw some new colors for that get released today. I think they're just Peg Trail 2s. 
I don't know if they were Cortex ones. I think they were just twos, but it's still definitely a shoe I need to pick up. I want to try some of those. Uh, Stevie76 says, it's time for Kofuzi's two-month probationary review since quote-unquote going pro in October. How would you rate your overall performance? Exceeds expectations, fully meets expectations, or improvement needed? I would say that I am in the, um, I don't know about fully meets expectations. I think improvement needed is, is kind of where I feel on it. I feel like uh, I'll start off with the bad stuff. I feel like um, my uploads, like timing wise, it's completely irregular. Sometimes I'm at eight. Sometimes I accidentally publish before eight in the morning. Sometimes I don't publish till like noon. So that's like all over the place. And I need to feel like I have more regularity there. Um, but, and sometimes, you know, the videos aren't quite as thorough or as, not fact check, but edited. You know, I feel like I'm putting out a lot of like first drafts kind of thing. So I'd like to be able to put more into it, but just running out of time, it's, it seems still time management. I have a different kind of time management that I have to deal with now. And so I'm dealing with that. But I will say like the highlight, I feel like the live stream is going well. I'm really enjoying it. I feel like it's growing a little bit and I think you guys are enjoying it too. So I am um, having fun with that. So I feel like overall solid B is where I would give it if I'm going to give it a grade. Okay, Jana says, hi everyone, so excited for trivia. Today I set a new PR for 5K, awesome, of 26 minutes. Ooh, look at that, a 14 minute improvement, faster than the previous one, which was standing since September of 2019. That's quite an improvement, congratulations, awesome. Uh, Adam Steve says, congratulations, Jana, as well. Awesome, so cool. Uh, Ennis says, hi, Kabuzi and everyone. Mountain biking tonight, but a shorter one. The trails are still very wet and muddy, so we did a shorter route. So I make the live stream from this tire. Awesome. Well, I hope you didn't cut your ride short because of the live stream, um, but uh, I'm glad to have you here. And Philip says, it was rainy and muddy. 10K with his dog, Lara, today. Lara or Lara? I'm going to say La Lara. Lara, because L-A-R-A looks like Lara to me. At the end, tried to push her a bit and topped out at 2.30 minute per kilometer. Ooh, blazing fast. Um, in a pair of peg 36s. Wow. I mean, only for like 200 to 300 meters, though. I think that's about as fast as I can go at that, at that speed. Maybe. I don't even know if I can hold that for 200 meters. But nice and speedy today. Awesome. All right. Um, Bert, I guess, says hi, all. And Chris X says, hey, folks, opening for the post live stream run. Uh, in dry, partly sunny conditions as opposed to dark and rainy the same. Awesome. Awesome. All right. All right. And David probably says happy Trivia Tuesday. Okay. Um, sorry, there's there's so many other um, comments here, but um, I, I'm, I want to get to the Trivia Tuesday for today because I think it's going to, I mean, I think it's going to be fun. So let's see if I can make it work though. I had it before and now it's not like not looking like it's gonna work. So let's see if I can make it work. Um, I gotta hit the share screen thing. And then uh, Chrome tab, here we go, here we go. All right, are we looking at it? Okay, cool, let's make it bigger. So here's how it's going. All right, I have copied and pasted font from uh, like a shoe website, like the, like you know, the brands, not like Running Warehouse's description, not, you know, Roadrunner Sports, Fleet Feet, like the brand's description of the shoe. And I've taken out any of like the trade names or trademarks or registered marks um, like that. And you're going to have to try and guess it. So here's the first one. And uh, hopefully, hopefully it'll work out. So, and I'll, I'll read it to you guys so people that are listening uh, on the podcast version can hear it. Um, so here is the first one. The, uh, Brand shoe, so I'll say like blank blank or brand shoe just as the generic name because in the regular copy it said something. So the brand of shoe is a versatile, fast trainer and race day shoe. The ultra lightweight shoe delivers a quick turnover with running economy in mind and features a hyper mono mesh upper, internal carbon infused plate, midsole registered mark cushioning, plus a durable co-branded performance outsole. The brand shoe is designed for those who want to pick up the pace or chase down a new PR. All right, we got some guesses in here already. But first, before we do that, um, <laughs> Carrie Smith showing, throwing out a um, super chat. Thank you so much, Carrie, saying, Nova Blast Shoe of the Year changed my mind. I mean, I think it depends on like how you define Shoe of the Year. But in terms of like, it's a new shoe, it's got lots of innovation in it. It's not like anything else that's out there. 
It's versatile. It's, you know, I'm not going to necessarily argue with me, with you. It's not my first choice, but it's certainly a, a one that's easily defensible. You can certainly put that out there. I don't think a lot of people are going to get too upset. I mean, a lot of people will say, will say like, but alpha fly, but you know, I'm good with that. I'm good with Noah Blast. All right. You guys had some really quick answers to that. You, maybe you guys are like reading ahead of me, but um, all right. What do we got here? Um, let's see. Adam Steve says, sounds like the Skechers Speed 6. That's very close. Martha thinks it's an A6. Mm, not this one. Carlos has, says Zoom Fly. Brett Reed says Skechers Speed Elite. Even closer. Alexis Lopez says Adios Pro. No. Chris Reese says Skechers. That is correct. Carbon X says Louis Becerra. No. And uh, Trains with Code thinks it's maybe like Under Armour. Matt 852 says Meta Racer. That's a really good guess because of the carbon infused plate, right? And Frank says Atreyu Artist. No, that's not it. Um, the answer is, let me get to it. Um, wait, let me do, see if I could do it this way. Here we do it like this here. There we go. And the answer is, it is the Skechers um, Go Run Razor 3 Elite. The one with the one that looks like it's, uh, has like, ho- like fall Thanksgiving colors. So it's that one over here. So you could see, uh, I how do I show it to you guys. It's up there, uh, like that way a little bit. There you can see the Go Run Speed Razor 3 Elite. No, I can just do this. I can no, I can't highlight it because I screenshotted all these to put it into like a PowerPoint. So yeah, so you guys were really close, right on, right on, right away. Nice work. Um, yeah, Jeff Elliott said the hyper mono mesh maybe thinks Skechers, but I don't know their line well enough. Yeah, yeah, good job. Um, and Lev Lev Corman said co-branded Skechers. Well, the co-branding was the um, what is it? It's the Goodyear. Uh, rubber that's on the on the bottom. So like I, I didn't know what to put like I didn't want to put I guess I could have been like rubber manufacturer as like the the substitute word for that. But yeah, maybe I'll I'll read that into the next one because there's another one that's like that too. All right. So um, Carlos has a Skechers Razor. I think I think if you got Skechers Razor or the Razor Elite, I think uh, you know I'll, ac- I'll accept both of those. Even though the Elite is a very different shoe, but I feel like you know it's pretty close. I feel like I feel like we're gonna go with that. Yeah, so we'll do that. Um, yeah, Carlos has as the co-branding made me think of Adidas and Continental. Yeah, that's why I think what Skechers is counting on you thinking, <laughs> um, just to get in a little knock on Skechers there. Sorry about that. I don't mean to do that. I don't know why I always do that. Uh, Matt Matt Vo two S says, "Have you tried Enda?" I haven't, but I did just pick up a pair of the Enda Lapitats, so I'll probably give those a shot towards the end of next week. So coming soon, coming soon. All right. Mark says, I finally got one. I usually terrible at trivia. All right. Let's uh, go to the next one. The next one is, all right. And let me just take, uh, let's go to full screen here so you guys can see it better. All right. A smooth ride that feels good. For those who crave reliable comfort on any run, the shoe and number keeps paving the way to smooth miles and even softer cushioning in a streamlined fit. Overview. The blank midsole cushioning protects from impact with the soft yet responsive feel underfoot. Outsole trade name, outsole optimizes flexibility. The upper trade name surrounds the foot in 3D comfort, enhanced by 3D print overlays. Engineered mesh provides structure or stretch where needed and enhances breathability. So what do you guys think that one is? Oh man, some of you guys got it right away. Wow, man, crazy. Um, I'm going to skip over the people that got it right. But Nike React, it could be the React. Definitely could be, I think. Um, then we got the Glycerin 13. Uh, well, I think either Glycerin 18 or Ghost 13, I think both would be good, really good guesses. That sounds like Brooks copy. Um, let's see. But I think a lot of you guys got it right right away. Um, Curry Smith is Clifton 7s. That could be it too. Hmm. And JC says more molecules, sockety something or other. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. But so many of you guys got it right off the bat. I think because it says a smooth ride that feels good. So let's start out with that. But I think the first one to get it was Brett coming in with the ride 13. Nice work. Awesome. And then Alexander came in right away, like almost at the same time with the, the ride. Daryl also had it like right away. And Dr. Funk, like the first four answers 
Who not? No, no, no. Who had the first? Carl J had it. No, Sean Marshall. Sorry, 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 guys. Sean Marshall had it first. He was the first one to have um, uh, the Saucony. Right. Good job, Sean. But yeah, so so many so many people got it. That's so fun. Um, Steve said he was too slow to get it wrong. The 1080 version 10. See, like so many of these, it could, you don't know which one it's going to be. Um, but yeah, you guys are good. All right. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. Let me show you. Like here's where it comes from, and so that's uh, that's just the copy that's on the side. All right. Let's get to the next one. All right, this one's long. This one's real long. So you guys can read it along or I can read it to you. All right, the shoe is for neutral runners seeking a responsive running experience. The lightweight design includes our midsole variant. So think of it like, you know, Bud and Bud Light because like some, you know, some of the midsoles have a normal version and then they have like a new version. So that's when I say midsole and variant, that's what it means. So this lightweight design includes our midsole variant, midsole foam for an energetic bounce with each stride. The outsole and midsole of the shoe have been designed to help promote the energized feeling of the midsole variant technology, creating a trampoline effect that propels you forward. The shoe is also higher off the ground than most running styles, promoting improved comfort over longer distances. The shoe's soft engineered mesh upper delivers excellent airflow, keeping your feet cooler throughout your run. Additionally, reflective details provide extra visibility in low light conditions. Put a bounce in your step with the new shoe performance running shoe and experience a soft and lightweight ride. Let's see, man, you guys are so good at this game. Wow, I tried to make this hard. But you guys got it right away. Uh, okay. So um, JC said 3D overlay. Oh, that was from the last one, I think. Um, Rod Marco had peg 37. Hmm, that could be it too, because of the trampoline effect. I think trampoline effect is like the key to this one. And um, Pegasus 37 could be it but I don't think that Nike would put the word trampoline effect in there. Would they? I don't know. Brett Reed said ultra boost. Also a really good guess. Lucas had that one too, because it probably because of that trampoline effect word. And, um, but then a whole bunch of you guys had the right answer and yeah. Yeah. A lot of you guys got it right away. Who was the first one that had it? Uh, Mark again, Nova blast. First one coming in Nova blast. And then Brian knee had it, David, Prabhu, Frank, Jason Bickman. Mm. Yeah, Chris Tech said Nova Blast. Easy one. Yeah, that was easy, wasn't it? And Jeff Elliott says easy, Nova Blast because of the trampoline. Yeah, Scott says Nova Blast. Hmm. Wow. And Matt A52 says, yeah, those were real trampoline shoes. They were. <laughs> um, but I liked it. But I liked it. And Sean Marshall says, this sounds like a catalog description of an actual trampoline I wanted as a kid. <laughs> that sounds funny. Oh, I love that. Awesome. Um, and, and it says the Nova Blast is high, isn't it? Yeah, I, I think it was a pretty high shoe. Um, it was very tall. Oh, let's go to the, here. so here's where the paragraphs come from. And let me make it full screen again. Yeah, so you could see that's where it was. And it was a lot of words. It was r r like surprisingly wordy for it. So yeah, um, and Matty52 says, I thought it was moon shoes from the 90s. <laughs> uh, Scott says, new topic, Mexican food names. Mm, that'd be fun. That'd be a fun one. Um, all right. Aubrey says, uh, just watch the review between the Nova Blast and the Clifton 7. Very cool. Very cool. Um, Matt Vo2 S says, why is everyone so stoked on the Peg 37? It sucks. I think it was a very different Pegasus this year. But I still think it was, I mean, I like React. But this wasn't, it was surprising that I didn't love the shoot. I liked it. I didn't like, absolutely love it. I mean, it was really, I mean, it's hard to say because the Pegasus is always good in my opinion, but uh, it sucks. I don't know that I'd go that far, but I can see why some people would be disappointed in it. All right. Um, yeah, Leona says, Mark really knows his shoes. Notice I'm silent now and just running hokas. <laughs> uh, and Sean Marshall says, my phone literally froze on my run today. Mm, yeah, I, I only had a short run today and I was so cold. That was cool. It was 13 degrees out. And yeah, that's, I, I've been lucky the last couple of days. It's been like in the teens temperature wise, but it hasn't been windy. Once it gets windy, that's when I'm just going to feel like I get punched in the gut. So, yeah. Um, but hopefully that won't be for a little while. All right. Um, Ooh, Martha says, our, our Wi-Fi crapped out again, just as you posted the first question. Every day it crashes right at the beginning of the live stream. I'm cursed. Sorry. And John says, uh, you're just waiting to show up for the Bostons. 
I'm trying to think. Did I put the Boston in here? I don't remember. Hmm. We'll see. I did these all like early yesterday. So it's been like a day since I like looked at these. So I kind of forgot which ones I'm, I got going on here. So it's kind of a surprise to me too. All right. Um, okay. Let's get to the next one. Mm. Well, speaking of Pegasus though, Matt says, as for the Pegasus, I love buying last year's model and saving a little bit of money. I think that's a great way to go. And that's what usually what I tell people when they're like, what's a, cheap a good but cheap shoe i'm like whatever is good this year but get last year's version so i feel like yeah um that's what i, def Matt, I definitely agree with that and dr funk says it's hard to get excited about daily trainer workhorse it's like getting excited about the honda accord um yeah but like the honda accord i mean like a honda civic i like the honda civic i had a honda fit for a long time Mike is not a long time, a couple of years. And man, I just really love that car. That was a fun car. Um, all right. Let's see. Love <laughs> Corman says, we should listen to Kofuzi reviews and guess what shoe he's talking about. Oh, now that's a good one. That one is, oh, that's interesting. Hmm. All right, let's get on to the next uh, trivia. Okay, so this one I did it in two parts because it's really long. So I'll just read the first paragraph because like some shoes, like they have like a little blurb and then you can click on like more detail and then you get more blurb. So I'll just read for you guys like the, the main blurb and then I'll show you guys the rest of it and you can read along, but I won't read it because I'll be here for another three or four minutes to reading it. So here's the next one. All right, take your running, take your training runs to the next level with the brand shoe number. With unbelievable midsole cushioning and a new four foot cushion unit. They're like a bolt of caffeine for your legs. The lightweight upper breathes incredibly well. The pared down perfectly placed padding helps eliminate hot spots. and the super grippy outsole question mark. Well, let's just say you got to stay upright to run. Here's to letting mud fly and streets vanish behind you. <laughs> Adam Steve says the Starbucks Nitro. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Um, Let's see, uh, Daniel Amza, Skechers shape-ups. So here's a hint, I didn't put any trick, there's no trick questions here, there's no Skechers shape-ups in here. Although I was thinking about like, there's that Skechers that's like the knockoff of like the Vapor Max, right? Like I thought maybe that would be a good one to do, but I, I'm, I'm not gonna do any trick questions. Um, a Treyu Verager, nope, that's not it either. Um, Albert Lung's here just to say hi, taking a break from our run, awesome, good to see you. Um, Adam Steve said, this shoe is the Starbucks Nitro. Let me give you a little bit more. So here's a lot more to it. So there's a, just, just in case that wasn't enough for you guys. Um, and let's see, we've got the right answer hinder are already, man, you guys are good. Uh, in the, in the longer it says, these are Heelys. <laughs> uh, what's up Sanchez. Good to see you. Um, this is awesome. Uh, yeah. Gucci slides. <laughs> No, no. And it says a bolt of caffeine. Brett Reed says it's a Folgers 21. That's awesome. That's so funny. Um, and Mark Chancogo says, I clearly don't have this shoe. I don't know. You might. You might. Uh, Rod Marco says it's the Nike React. No, nope, it's not the React either. Um, Daryl says New Balance. No. <laughs> CB76 Land's End. <laughs> oh, man. That's so funny. Uh, Matt Vo2 says the Puma. Mm, that would have been good. I was thinking of maybe doing the Puma, the Puma or like the Mizuno, the Energy, like the full Energy one, but uh, it didn't. Yeah, I, I was like, that would be really easy to pick out because it was just so strange. But yeah, I, I do think Adam Steve's answer, the Starbucks Nitro, is a, <laughs> is a really great guess. But the answer is, it is the Pegs 37. So you guys had it right. And like, I would never guess though that this was like Nike copy. Right to say like the lightweight upper breathe like when it says like and the super grippy outsole well let's just say you gotta stay upright to run that doesn't sound like a Nike website to me it sounds like I don't know it seems, it sounds different to me but let's see who had it first um, Jeff Elliott bag thirty seven nice got it right away too yeah a lot of you guys yeah it's a bag thirty seven he knew it and then Carlos had it right away too. Timothy, man, you guys are good. You guys are real good. I mean, maybe did I pick two easy shoes? Mm. 
JC says the Hoka Catamount. Yeah, that could have been a good one too. Except like there, uh, it mentioned that there was like a um, a cushion unit in the forefoot, and so I was like, man, that's gonna give it away. But then I was like, well, it could be. I could be talking about a gel shoe, like an Asics, you know. So I don't know. Maybe you guys were weren't thrown off as much as I thought. <laughs> Daniel M says, staying upright to run. That's so inconvenient because I normally run lying down. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Uh, yeah, Dr. Funk's 12 season says, I have some of these shoes as well and don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> oh, yeah. Martha's of the Catamount. It's Brooks, not Hoka. Yeah, I was th when you said Catamount, I was thinking Hoka. I was thinking the um, Torrent. Um, yeah, so that, that's what I was talking about there. I was thinking about throwing the Torrent in there, but I'm like, I don't know if people know about the Torrent enough. That might be like, you know, a tough one because of obscurity. So I don't know. Um, all right. Let's get to the next one. All right. We'll do another one here. All right. This is the, uh, this one starts. It says comfortable running shoes with lightweight cushioning. When your running shoes are comfortable, you don't think about your feet. You think about going a little farther or a little faster. You're free to push yourself in the, oh, I gave it away. I messed it up. They're Adidas running shoes, but okay. They're Adidas running shoes, but ah, all right. The, um, the mesh upper is breathable and supportive. Cushioning in the midsole is light enough for explosive feet speed and responsive enough for total comfort. Logo name, it says three stripes. The three stripes is inspired by Japanese calligraphy to make them look extra speedy. So sorry, I messed that one up. I knew I was going to mess up one of these, but all right. What is this shoe? It's an Adidas, so I gave that one away. Um, yeah, JC says, um, it's Adidas. Yeah, I totally messed that one up. Um, yeah, Ultra Boost 20. I mean, there's a there's only a handful of guesses it could be, I guess, at this point. Um, <laughs> in the long run, Adidas out of zero, goodbye. <laughs> uh, Martha says, the Adidas Sen, whatever. Yeah, the, the Takumi Sen, that would be a good guess, but that's not it. And it's not the Adios Pro, it's everybody's favorite the SL20. And I feel like there couldn't be a more like generic description of this shoe than this one. I just don't. Yeah. Cause Frank's like, what is this? What is the Adidas max cushion? I don't even know. Yeah. But it's the SL20. Hmm. Yeah. Lots of people had it. Who had the SL20 first when I messed it up? Uh, Manvo2 said it was Sperry Topsiders. <laughs> oh, fun. Uh, Let's see, Laugh Corman says SL20. Nice. Good job. All right. Let's get to the next one. I, I totally, yeah. Yeah, this is so, solid B material. Where, where is <laughs> uh, Giving me some Asian Fs here. Solid B. <laughs> uh, funny. All right. Let's go here. Um, yeah. T. Davis says every Adidas is pretty much exactly the three. Yeah, it's, it's the same. Every, yeah, this is the exact same thing. Uh, this like so the reason I mean my original idea for this in game came because of this shoe, and I was trying to figure out what's the difference between this and the RC 2.0. They're both 100% light strike shoes. They have the same drop, and um, the upper materials are different. And I think the RC 2 has like three or four millimeters less midsole stack height. That's I think that's it. You know. Sean says, <laughs> it's, I read like a fifth grader wrote that copy for the SL20. Yeah, I, I just think that it's like, someone was like, I don't, I, I, I really think that Adidas had no idea what to do with this shoe. And they were like, I don't know, is this a fast day shoe? Is this a daily trainer? I don't know if it's good as a daily trainer. Just write words that if someone's like, oh, that, like write words that's not going to throw anyone off, no matter what they're looking for try and make it like as like generic and as universally applicable as possible. So if I'm a beginner, these sound like good words. If I'm looking for a speech, you, these sound like good words. If I'm looking for a daily trainer, these sound like good words. So I think, I really think that's what it is. You know, I don't know. Maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm like wrong on that one. Uh, Fusen that says, just write the right words. That's what I would say, but I don't know. <laughs> Steve, I was like, this isn't, this is like a Seinfeld episode. It's like Kramer wrote this. It's as if you have no business training at all. 
Oh, that's funny. All right. Um, I don't know how many more of these I have left. Uh, I think I have one more left. Let's see what we got. All right. Uh, oh, here's another one that's really long. And so we'll start off with this one. We'll do it. Um, same thing as last time where I'll give you like the little blurb and then I'll give you the more, uh, but I won't read it because it's long. So the brand of shoe is designed to help reduce injury and keep you on the run. More foam and improved upper details provide a secure and cushioned feel. Lace up and feel the potential as you hit the road. Mm. And then there's just a ton more, a ton more words about it, which is, I was actually like pretty impressed with that they put more in it because it just feels like the trend has been, again, to like try and make it so that way people, well, just no one will be turned off from buying a shoe. Um, they put as little words as possible, but this one actually had a lot of detail to it. All right. Vegan Runner said Ultra Boost PB. Mm, no, not that one. Sean Marshall thinks this is the Bondi. Nope. Nope. Um, all right. A lot of you guys got this right away. Wow. Wow. This didn't throw anybody off. I thought it would because it just it was like, for me, it just didn't say much at all. But you guys must have known right away. Um, <laughs> most things, it's Chuck Taylor's high tops. Nice. Daniel Adams thinks it's Timberlands. No. <laughs> uh, and Ron Marco says injury is the keyword. That's true. That like made it really simple. All right. Who uh, had it first? Um, mm, Dr. Funk 1216, Nike Infinity React. Had it right away. There it is. The Infinity Run, the React Infinity Run. See, here's here's the thing that I don't understand about this shoe. So like, why isn't it like, uh, why is it the Nike... It's Nike React Infinity Run flying it. To me, it should be the Nike Infinity Run React flying it, right? Although, hmm, I guess we had the Nike Lunar Epic, but then we had the Nike Epic React, right? So we had two Epic shoes, one where the midsole name came before, and then one where the midsole, I guess they've done it both ways. I don't know. But uh, the fact that the React is front of Infinity Run, I feel like the shoe name, then the midsole foam, then the upper material is how it should go. But like Vaporfly, 4% flying it. Oh, I guess in there it's the Zoom X, the Zoom Air Vaporfly, 4%. I don't, I don't know. I guess I'm wrong. Just see, It just always sounds wrong the way I say it. But man, everyone had it right away. Um... Brett, Frank, AJ. No, AJ didn't have AJ had Hoka. Martha had Hoka too, but I could see it going to Hoka because they're just talking about running forever. Jeff Elliott, Lewis, Bert. Man, you guys, you guys are so fast too. Crazy. Crazy. Um <laughs> Bert does Kofuzi trying to find logic in a marketing division of Nike. <laughs> uh, I suppose you're right. That's my own fault. Um, uh, all right. Is that the last slide? Oh, no, I got more. I got more in here. Awesome. Cool. Uh, and Mark Jankogo says, I can't believe that the React Infinity Run replaced Epic Reacts. Uh, I'm a little bummed, too, because I like the Epic React so much. Or I was just hoping that like the Epic React and the Pegasus would merge a little bit in terms of feel, and then I would have been happy. But, you know, I don't know. All right, let's go to this next one. A fun, springy feel that knows no limits for those looking to achieve their personal goals, the lightweight shoe lets you boldly chase them on the daily with runs that feel fun, fast, and responsive with nothing to hold you back. And the overview, the midsole, the next generation of ama amazing cushioning, is 28% lighter, so you feel even more spring from each step. And a low-profile stance with lots of ground grip and natural flexibility lets you instinctively react throughout your run. The upper mesh upper stretches and adapts for the ultimate light and unrestrained feeling. All right, I feel like this one's gonna be a little bit harder. Let's see. Um, Carlos has a Nike Flex. No, it's not that one. Po James Pucci says Nike Zoom Flag 3. Nope. Um, let's see. <laughs> Jordy says, disappointing you didn't have Jordan in there. No, I'm, I'm not a Jordan, uh, I'm not a Jumpman fan because I grew up a fan of the Knicks. So like, uh, you won't ever see me in uh, a Chicago Bulls anything or a, um, a jump man, anything. Um, 
upper trends that this is a Dynablast. No, it's not the Rincon either, says Jeff Elliott. Uh, Oren also voting for Dynablast. Chris Dyke says it's the Boston 9. I, if it's what I remember, if I think I'm, if I'm remembering right, it's not the Boston 9. Uh, Daniel M says it's those East Bay shoes that make you jump higher. Jump soles. I had a pair of those. They didn't really make me jump higher. I'll tell you that. Uh, James Pucci's guess is the Nova Blast. And Brett, you got it. Where is it? Brett had the Saucony Freedom. That is it. There we go. And I don't know if I remember this or not. I think I remember this, but like they've linked up one of my videos on their product page. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, Saucony Freedom 3. Here's the thing. I don't know. I don't remember what I said about the Freedom 3 in the 100 mile review. I don't know that I was. it was like a glowing review of it. Because I was like, I don't know. This is, might be too squishy for me. I'm having a hard time figuring it out a little bit. I think that's what I said. I think that's what I said. I don't remember. But there it is, the Freedom 3. That one is one that I'm like, and, and I think it, it shows because some of you guys were just like all over the place. Matt said Float Ride. Louis said the Rincon. Steve said the 1080 version 10. Carrie said the Gel Nimbus. Yeah. Yeah. And Adam C said low profile stance. That is meaningless. Yeah. But at the same time, if it says low profile stance, that eliminates like a handful of shoes. So I could, at least for this purpose of this game, it helps. But in terms of buying a shoe, that doesn't really help. So, yeah. So there's that one. Hmm. Lots of guesses. Kinvara 11, Meta Racer. Fusion had said it sounded like A6. Hmm, yeah. It could sound like A6. But I think that, like, A6 I always has, like, so many, like, trademark name things in there. Like, they have trademarks for the way their uppers are, the way their outsoles are, the way their midsoles are. So, like, you would see a lot of, like, I feel like when A6 writes a website, I feel like they write it for search engine optimization and for like to make sure they're using their trademarks, like their intellectual property. And so I feel like that's how, I think that's the giveaway for an ASIC shoe. Having reviewed a lot of, having like looked unusually closely at the way that these shoes are described generally. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. I think I got one more. Yeah, one more here. Oh boy, this is a lot of, a lot of words to read. Um, all right. Hopefully I didn't mess it up and hopefully I deleted all the right words. Okay. So here's the last one. Uh, looking for an efficient running shoe that offers velvet comfort mile after mile. The shoe from brand is a lightweight performance running style that's complemented with foam variant for a high energy return bounce during each stride. The shoe is the most affordable member of a family of shoes that include stabi stability ish. Stability is maybe not the right word, but that's the best thing I can put in there. That includes stability technology. A one-piece midsole with full ground contact gives a shoe a super smooth heel-to-toe transition. As with other shoes in the collection, this one features an extreme toe spring, which adds to an easy rolling forward motion on the run. This clever midsole construction is designed to reduce the load on feet and increase efficiency. And increase efficiency. The shoe will really help energize your run over short or long distances. The shoe offers a breathable mesh upper that allows air to flow in and out of the shoe, keeping you cool. Built to last with its tough but lightweight rubber outsole, the shoe has added spring in the forefoot for an energetic foot strike and transition. Enjoy a smooth and comfortable ride mile after mile in the shoe running shoe. What do we got here, guys? Mm. We let us go. Wow, you guys are fast on the on the responses here. You guys are are like reading this way faster than I can read it out loud. Uh, Matt says it's Dr. Schultz. <laughs> uh, so many guesses for Dr. Schultz. Um, all right. Um, Sean Marshall says in terms of the Freedom 3, you like them more at 100 miles that, at the end. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Um, let's see. Um, Chris Dex, is it possible to get that answer without Google? <laughs> Uh, yeah, Daniel M says Jordan's about to enter the chat and uh, and challenge to a race and win. Oh yeah, sure. I he can probably beat me. I'm sure he's got speed. This is a shorter distance, yeah. Um, and it said, did they ask to use your footage, Mike? I think that they did. I'm pretty sure that they did. I don't remember though. But like, because like as I looked at that Freedom Three like listing yesterday, I was like, oh, that's my video. But I was like, but I'm not that surprised about it. Why not? So I think that they did. I just don't remember. I have a bad memory. I have to write everything down. Um, let's see. <laughs> Man says this is such a hilarious game. Good idea. I think we're gonna have to play it again. 
I'm gonna have to do it again. Try to try to do some new, uh, get some new shoes in for next time. Um, Mark Jenko says, does this come in audiobook? <laughs> it does. You could get the podcast version. Uh, Frank guessed that's the meta ride. No, it is not the meta ride. And uh, Daniel says, these are just roller skates. <laughs> Carrie Smith thinks it's the miler. Uh, Sean Marshall says, this is Adidas. No, it is not Adidas. Carlos says, Adios Pro. Jeff Lane says, the Dynablast. Nope. Um, <laughs> Alexander Pena says, I'm going to just answer with Hoka shoes until I get one right. <laughs> it's not, a, I, I guess I didn't have any Hoka's in this time. Uh, Bert says, Crocs? No Crocs. I guess we'll do this again some other time. And I will put in one, maybe uh, maybe it'll be like the bonus, but I'll put in like a joke one, like a shoe that like, You'll, you'll have to figure it out. But there's no joke ones this time. Uh, another vote for the Meta Ride. Um, let's see. Mark says the Triumph 17. Uh, David Prabhu says the Hyperion Tempo. That could be a good one. Um, I think that the real clue on this one is um, as with other shoes in the collection. So like there's that like preface there. And so I saw a lot of answers for like Steve has the shift. I feel like that's a really, and Mark, chain coco says shift as well because it also has that stability stuff and like in the ankle you know like that giant plate thing that's in the back there so i think that's a really good guess but um let's see who got the first one um that has it let's see it is right here james pucci a6 evo ride coming in there we go again a lot of words a lot of words on the a6 website for them but um yeah see that that description does not match with the evil ride that i know you know what i mean so like that's where i feel like um i don't think that i i think i've got it pegged pretty i think i understand i have a good feeling for what that shoe is but these words don't line up for me so that's like my my critique of it so uh, i don't know maybe maybe i'm maybe i've got it wrong but i don't know um, yeah, Musino Wave Rider says MC 1796. That'd be a good guess, too. All right. Um, that was a lot of fun, guys. I think uh, Mark Chenko says, Is there stability in the Evo Ride? Well, it's the guide sole technology. So I don't know. Like, st I put stability in there as, like, how do you, what, what word do you synonym, like, generic term for guide sole? I know it's not exactly a stability element when they said guide sole, but that's kind of what I put on there. So um yeah that's that's what i'm talking about with that and james i literally ordered this shoe again yesterday it's, did you look at the thing again is that why it was familiar to you i don't know um and look fun, funny uh funny asics always like to put some stability in their racers uh yeah they always have there's always a lot of stuff there's like it, you know i what i find surprising about asics is like there isn't a less is more approach to hardly any of their shoes there's it always seems to be like a more is more approach to ASICs shoes. And I find that remarkable coming from um, a Japanese brand that seems to like encapsulate so much of the Japanese running aesthetic and like ethos where I, but I mean, I, I don't know. It just seems so counterintuitive to me sometimes how like over engineered a lot of ASICs shoes seem to be, but you know, they do have diehard fans. So it just, the shoes that are designed for people that like shoes that are different than me for the most part, I think. All right. Um, yeah. Carlos has us. we should do this again sometime. Yeah. I, I think so too. I think so too. This was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> uh, Dr. Fung, 1216 says, I appreciate how Asian the ASIC website is when it says it has extra cushion, but the bar is only half full. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. Uh, <laughs> um, and uh, Roshan Jivanji says, what are your thoughts on the AC Kyono 27 and the Mizuno Wave Inspire? I'm not familiar with the Wave Inspire um, and the Kyono. I don't think I've ever run in those because the Kyono is uh, a stability shoe and I don't, I try to stay away from the stability shoes. They tend to give me a little bit of problem. So I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that, uh, I'm not sure that I will be reviewing that one. So, and the Wave Inspire, I don't, is that a, mis I don't even know if that's a stability issue or not. So, sorry about that. All right. Um, let's do, um, we'll do a quick, let's go to this. We'll just do a quick uh, bonus round for today. And the bonus is just, I didn't know how to do this in a way that everyone who wanted to try to get one of these free hats. Um, 
here we go. One of these free hats. Um, can do it because I didn't want it to be like, well, you have to really know shoes to be able to get it. So here's the bonus question. Normally in a trivia or a top five, I like to do five plus a bonus, but I didn't do five shoes today. How many shoes did we do today? That'll be the bonus question. And the first three to get it right, um, we'll get a free hat and the power bank thing. I don't think it's a big one. It's a little power bank, a little guy, but you get this little polar bag. This could be a good way to store your polar watch if you're like, traveling or don't have it on you know but you got a little power bag in there so all right i i gotta go count real quick let me count back here um how many um let's see one two all right so carlos carlos really wants a hat typing in all of the numbers uh, the first three to get it, uh, and we're, we're, let's remember, uh, I got to keep it like domestic U.S. Um, so first three, it, eight was the right answer. So Leona, and who else has eight in here? Um, Jeff and Carrie. So if you guys want to email me, um, my email is co.mike at gmail. So um, if you want to email me your mailing address, I'll get these sent out to you right away. And I know like um, some people I've mailed stuff to and it's taken me forever. Uh, that's something that I'm really working on. Like as a, it's a, a real bad habit I have. I'm really bad at getting things out that I need to get out. So I'm going to really try to mail this out as soon as I can, but keeping in mind like the time of year it is. Um, yeah. Hopefully it'll get to you guys as soon as it can, but I'm not sure when it'll get there, but guys email me and let me know uh where i can send it and i'll send it to you guys all right um John says, mike your hat collection produces some envy me well thanks thanks you know i didn't really set out to start collecting hats but um then i just i don't know I just ended up collecting them and i i mean having a lot of fun with it all right um i think that's um Timothy Betts has got to run. It was lots of fun. Everyone take care. Good to see you again, Timothy. Take care. Uh, and I'm going to get going for today. Everyone, thanks for playing. This was a lot of fun. We definitely got to do this one again. We'll figure out another time to do it. Um, tomorrow's video is going to be about the air fryer. I'd be eating food all day because I've just been cooking and test taste testing food. So I'm, I'm really full today, which is nice. Um, and uh, tomorrow afternoon, we'll just do another live stream just a regular live stream, 3 p.m. Central Time. Hopefully I'll see you guys here. In the meantime, be safe out to everybody.